right, what is up YouTube? So today we have gotten a ban list. It didn't really change much, but it's still a ban list and it is going to change up some things on this tier list. And I'm gonna be giving you guys a tier list of not only the current format, but the post burst of destiny in synchro storm tier list so we're going to be looking at the current format first and then we're going to get to the newer decks and see how good they are versus the current format deck so let's just get started we're going to start off with the hits so prank hits with hit it's kind of severely on the list like you kind of think that meow meow to one is not that good or it's not that big of a hit until you get into those grind games and you don't have the fusion spell. Like you can't really play this deck and like you just end up with no monsters on field. All you have is a prank kid. It's going to be really rough for these players in the grind game. So I think that prank kids is going to move down. I don't think they're going to be bad, but I think, I think the safe spot is to say that they are tier three. Uh, I think there's like the safe spot to where they, they're still going to be represented, but not represented enough to where like, you know, tier two is like, a deck that tops like three or two times but like tier two tier three is like they top like one to two times uh maybe consistently so uh, i think they're going to be in the format they're still going to be relatively viable i just don't think they're going to be uh that good anymore um so moving on to the next um yeah the next hits were tribrigade or i guess you can go in the opposite order uh, zodiac barrage was hit so i think that Tri Brigade is still the best deck in the format. Like, it's just... Like, they hit every single best deck right now. They hit Drytron. They hit Virtual World. Oh, not Virtual World. They, they buff Virtual World. They hit Drytron. They hit um, Tri Brigade, and they hit Prank Hits. So, like... And the, the Tri Brigade hits are not even really Tri Brigade hits. They're Tanky and Zodiac hits. Like, they, they, that, that doesn't really change the deck much. The, st the deck is still consistent. It has three Omen. Three Fractal, three Revolt. Like, Revolt is still an insane card. So, this deck is, like, obviously tier one. Um, the next best deck, I would say, um, the next hits are Zodiac. Like, I guess Pure Zodiac, Pure Zodiac is still, like, a rogue deck. Like, you still have three Zoos. You just don't have the extender of Barrage. Barrage which is, like, an auto win button. If you drew Barrage in, like, a Zoo, um, it, especially in something like Tri Brigade, like, that was just insane. You just won that game pretty much, like, 99% of the time. Because Barrage is such an insanely powerful card. Um, but, you know, Zoos are not really that hit. They haven't really changed. Like, Barrage, now they don't have an auto win button uh, with that card. They still have a lot of other extenders they can play. Like, they have Monster Reborn and stuff like that. So, uh, not really hit that much. The next, I think, buff, I think, that's pretty much it for the hits. Yeah, I think that's it for the hits. Because there weren't really many hits. Um, the next deck is Virtual World. I think Virtual World, it's kind of hard to say if they're going to be Tier 1 or Tier 2. Um, I will say they're pretty strong, but they're they're just not consistent enough. I don't think Itali the 2 does really anything much. Like, like some people, I, I, I guess it's, it's it's a buff, but like the, the hard thing about this deck is that it bricks a lot, and Itali doesn't really make up for the names that you need to have in your hand, like GG or you know lulu or uh um gg and and um, lao lao like it d doesn't really add you know those cards it just gets a body on the board for you to activate those monster effects in the hand so it's not really going to change much i still think that is going to be tier two and that is it for that um then we're going to talk about a deck that got hit a lot oh we didn't we skipped over drytron i forgot we, we skipped over drytron Drytron is still going to be that deck. It, it's still going to be tier two. I don't think Ava hit is that bad. I think it's still like a hit, but it like the deck is still like going to put up like a lot of negates. It still has Dragoon. It, it still has all of this like consistency. It just not really that good going second. Um, it could possibly be tier three. Like I, I would put it in a tier three category, but I'm trying to respect, you know, uh, Drytron because Drytron was consistently doing a, a lot even without the uh eva hit and i i didn't think it was a good deck in, uh, like even last format but i still think it's really good i think it's tier two uh, at least i think it, it's arguable uh it's arguably tier three but i'll put it in a tier two category because we're probably not gonna have that many tier two decks the next deck i want to talk about here is dragon link i think dragon link is going to climb back up to the tier one category I think that a lot of people are noticing that the LP ban 
and the striker limit is very strong, but the deck is still very good. You still have three chaos space, you still have the baby dragons, you still have the you have quick launch at three, you have rocket tracer. Like this deck is still pretty strong. And I think it's really good because you can put in floodgate like uh rivalry that is really good against tri brigade. So this deck is still pretty strong, it's still pretty powerful. Um the tanky hit is pretty big, so it does make Tribrid a little bit less consistent, and they're kind of equally consistent. Like, this whole list is based on consistency, and I think that the only exception is uh, Prime Kids because they only have one Meow. You're not going to be consistently making uh, Meow Meow every turn. You're going to have that one Meow, and then it, that's it. Your grind game is kind of hurt at that point. Um, the next deck I want to talk about is uh, Attic Nisters. I think Attic Nisters is still going to be like tier 3 the Rogue. I think it's still going to be pretty viable. Uh, PKs as well is going to be the same thing as well. I think Invoke Dogmatica is always going to be in the format. I think it's either tier 2 or tier 3. I think in the early formats, it's like tier 2, maybe even possibly tier 1. But in the later formats, it's going to be tier 3 because everybody's going to just play Tri Brigade or play... Bur um play uh dragon link or they're going to play the newer decks like the uh destiny heroes or the sword soul or uh e even like Lust, live twins and all that other stuff they're going to just play other stuff and like this deck is not that strong to be uh played um comparatively to like tri brigade which is going to be still a solid deck even post uh burst of destiny so i think uh invoke is still the same thing dinosaurs is still like kind of rogue um sky strikers is still kind of like tier three to, to rogue i think it's like arguably like tier three people still play this deck a lot um alter guys i think it's tier three um you're always gonna see some alter guys top like a lot of these other decks like they you're you're consistently seeing these like decks top um uh, comparatively to like rogue rogue is like you know it's it, you might see it sometimes but just not all the time uh sub terror same thing sub terror is still gonna be there I think Adam Aspators is, is still like Rogue. Um, Burning Abyss, this is pure Burning Abyss. I think it's still going to be Rogue. There's not really many uh, um, Burning Abyss players there. Um, Salmon Great, it depends. I think it's like Tier 3 to Rogue. I'm going to put it in Tier 3 just because of the representation. Um, Eldritch, still going to be... Uh, I mean, it comes in and out of formats. I still think it's Rogue um infernoble it I, it's like the borderline tier three i think it's it, it's seeing enough representation to be like okay this deck kind of consistently tops there's the at least one infernoble player in these remote duels or this you know lcs or something like that so i think it's it's very uh possible for this deck to be good uh post ban list uh thunder dragons didn't get lost it's their trash tier pendulum is still trashed here orcas didn't get harp it's still trashed here and machina's they're pretty decent. I think they're still rogue tier. You're not going to see that many, you know, Machina decks. So I think it's still um, pretty, pretty good rogue tier. And then Burst of Destiny. I think Burst and Destiny, Destiny heroes are going to be very good. I think Destiny heroes are going to take super advantage of Destroy Phoenix and the other cards that I think it's Denier as well that like recycles um, Malicious. I think it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be possibly tier two. I haven't tested much of like you know burst of destiny but just looking at it i think i think it's more tier three than anything just to be safe but it could possibly be tier two um what is the deck called the uh branded I, I forgot the name but this deck is like rogue tier it's it's nothing but a burn deck um it, it's just not it's just yeah it, it despia despia that's the name of that despia is it, it's just it's just a glorified burn deck like it, it's just it's it's not it's not that good sword soul on the other hand it's going to be tier one definitely 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 going to be tier one um it's just a really solid deck it's just tri brigade 2.0 or salmon great 2.0 it's just like one card starters uh into like you know and an, an disruption so it, it's just really really good and then you have like the icarus attack um trap card that is really good so the deck is really consistent has one card combos has interruptions can play a lot of hand traps looks like a tier one deck to me um Lair Lust, i think it's gonna be rogue i don't think anybody's gonna be playing Lair Lust that much i think it's just going to be one of those decks that you, you kind of have to somewhat expect um because it's just a new deck and it, it's not that bad but i think it's it's just not going to be good i think the link um not the link one the xyz 
is going to be used in something like dry trend. So I think it's something to look out for as an engine or for the XYZ rather than like an actual deck. Um, I think speed roids, I think speed roids are possibly like really good. I think they can possibly be tier two. Uh, same thing with Destiny Heroes. I think they're just like, I, I don't think it's going to be that good, but it it's possible that these decks can be like tier two because um, speed roids is another deck that can play a lot of hand traps. It is a lot of one card combos. It has a lot of grind game. You know, it has disruption in and of itself. So you can make like double crystal wing. You can make like, you can set up like trap card. Like it, it's really, really solid. It just depends. Um, the, the, the support is delayed. I'm pretty sure for the, um, uh, the searcher and I think the roulette card that's coming out. They're both in two separate sets of, I'm not uh, mistaken. So uh, it's probably not going to be as good until we get um, the searcher that is coming out in, I think, the Battles of Legend or I think Maximum Gold. It, it, it's probably Battles of Legend, but this deck is going to get better as um, as we get more sets uh, after Synchro Storm. Uh, Evil Twins is going, I think this deck is going to be maybe tier two. I'm not sure, but this deck is going to be really consistent. It puts up disruptions. It has grind game. Uh, you can play a lot of hand traps. This just it just screams a tier two deck. I think it's not going to be over Drytron. Maybe it's better than Drytron, but not better than Virtual World. But I think this is very consistent, and this will probably be a tier two deck. It, like if you look at all of the um, tier one decks, I mean besides like Drytron and Virtual World because they're kind of anomaly combo decks. Um, their power just trades with like the consistency of these other decks, but. Um, Evil Twins is just like, it's like a super solid, consistent deck that can just put up disruptions, play a lot of hand traps, just like the other decks. So I think it's, it's definitely a contender, uh, for the uh, next meta. Uh, and then Flunderies, like I, I said this when this deck first came out, when everybody was like, oh my God, this deck is tier one, this deck is broken. The thing about this deck is that it's very, 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 very fragile to effect negation. But if this deck goes off, then yes, this deck will be very, very strong and it's very hard to come back. But the thing is, like, this deck is like super, 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 super fragile. So I'm going to put it in the rogue tier. I think that this deck, it, it, it's kind of overhyped. It was overhyped, but I think it's going to be a rogue tier at best. I don't, I don't even think it's going to be as good as something like Destiny Heroes or Prank Kids or any of these other decks. I, I just think there's better decks. Like, why would you play Flunderies when you can play like these other decks that have one card starters, but you can also play a lot of hand traps, like, and then like you, you don't lose to one disruption. Like these decks have extenders, like Evil Twins have extenders. Dragon Link has plenty of extenders. Tri Brigade has extenders. Sword Soul has extenders. Like Flunderies, it does have extenders in the field spell, but if you don't have that field spell, like the, you're not extending at all. Like you're not extending. Uh, so that is my tier list. Let me know what you guys think about this tier list. And uh, I, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are, that are going to be like molding at like, you know, Flunderies being too low or uh, Evil Twins may be too high or Destiny Heroes is probably not that good or Speed Raid's not that good or Prank Kids probably needs to be like tier two or something like that because the, the Meow Meow hit doesn't really matter. But I think it's just small things like that. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think um, it's arguably maybe tier three um tier two with prank kids but uh let me know what you guys think like comment and subscribe and again uh let me know what decks you want me to um post post ban list because i might update a tribe gate list or a dragon link list or a virtual world or dryatron or any of these post both uh, burst of destiny list or uh speed worth i'm definitely posting regardless of you you asking for it but uh yeah, let me know what you guys want to see on my channel because I, I haven't been uploading uh, that much just because like the format is pretty much the same and uh, post Burst of Destiny and Synchro Storm is going to definitely change up the format. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am out.